Hey, welcome to Tough Guys. On this episode, we are actually gonna be building a bridge that goes from the front yard over the little culvert to our mailbox. Um, I'll show you, the mailbox is really close to the road out in front of our house and we just do not want to have to basically walk all the way out to the road and then over to it. So we're gonna build a little bridge to go across it and show you what we're gonna make. All right, so here's the walk from the front yard out to this main road. And this is what we're gonna to try to build the bridge across right here. So there's where it goes. And it's a pretty busy intersection. So we'll try to build the bridge across this and let's take some measurements. Now here's the view from the other side. Um, you kind of see, we normally have to walk up that little bit of road and then walk towards the mailbox. And we've already moved the mailbox once from down here to over here because it gets hit by trucks as they come around that big corner. So uh, our goal is to build the thing across here. All right, so I drew a little sketch of the ditch. Um, we laid the tape measure out. It seems about eight foot. It's gonna span it pretty well. And I think I actually might raise it up about 24 inches on the far side there to give it a little bit of a rise. There's that sketch again from the outside showing kind of the dip of the culvert and eight foot across, maybe a two foot rise to give us kind of a step up and then get us over that water channel. So I kind of drew from the side what I might want it to look like. We might have to have a support here, maybe even a support down on that end as well. And then this piece just kind of spanning it. And then this is just kind of an overview of, we'd be laying out the, the slats across it, 24 to 30 inches, I'm not sure yet the size. And then we'll probably have to put some cross supports to hold the four by fours together. So we've got the treated four by fours, we've got the treated deck boards. Um, just kind of have to experiment with the size of this. If this wasn't on such a slope, I'd probably just come back down here. But because this just keeps rising as it goes up to the mailbox, I thought about just running this board directly into the slope on that side. So that's the reason for the weird shape. Um, hopefully this ends up working out. I think this is what we're going to try to build. So just kind of building it on the fly here. All right, so we got the drawing made up and we've got everything set up here behind me. Um, out on the deck, so we're gonna start making the cuts. Four by fours, just uh, 10 foot treated four by fours. And this one's got kind of a big split, so I might switch it out. Two four by four 10 footers, and then we've got some of these deck planks. I believe still got the tag, show y'all, for the sizing, six inch wide. And they've already got kind of a nice little curve on them. Um, these are gonna be kind of the, the slats going side to side. You have a couple of these four by fours posted apart from each other. And then we're gonna set these on there like this and just screw through the face. So pretty simple, uh, I'm gonna start laying it out. And to show just getting set up here, I'm gonna be using this part of the Craig jig um, just to do some pocket holes into those four by fours where I'm seaming them together. And we've got the impact driver just to drive in those large the larger screws, um, I've got the star, the star tip on there as well. So it's ready to go from our last project. Um, in the cordless, I've got a drill bit just to pre-drill for the screws. I've got some brackets. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use any of this stuff, just we keep so much so from different projects. So I've got a few of these big steel brackets. I may use those when I'm putting this thing together. The little pack of drill bits there. And then I'm just basically trying to use up some old screws. I've got some two and a halfs, I've got some three and a halfs, and then we've got the leftover deck mates from the last project we just did. So I'm gonna kind of mix up, you know, what we're using just to kind of use some of this stuff up. And that's how we do a lot of the projects. So um, we'll see what else we find, but that's kind of the basic rundown of the tools. And I can't forget to mention the rigid circular saw. Um, we've got that big boy battery on there too. And this thing has been for like, it's been a month and it is still full. So worth the money there. But we're gonna be using this as well. Um, any other tools that I get out, I'll make sure I show you guys. As far as the rest of the stuff that I've got, I've got a 25 foot tape measure, nothing fancy, some pins, a little pouch to hold the tape measure in. And this one's great because it just clips onto my belt. So uh, the iPad running some tunes when I have time and we're getting set up. Okay, so on the drawing, we know we've got eight foot across. I'm trying to plan for an eight foot main run. So I'm gonna start by cutting those two into eight footers and then we'll figure out the support stuff. We may have to take this out to the front and actually see how it fits. But I'm gonna start with making the eight foot cuts and then I'm gonna size up 
how large I want these slats to be. I was kind of planning for 24 to 30 inches, but I need to set it down and see how that actually feels when I'm standing on it. got the four by fours cut into the eight foot sections um, and then we've got a basically a two foot chunk left over I need to give these a 45 degree cut so they can tie into the end piece and then we'll use one of the other four by fours that I have to cut some base supports for the whole thing so that's the next step so four by fours are cut into eight foot we've got the two foot leftover sections for the part that's gonna be kind of sloped down and then I need to also after cutting those into like a 45 I need to get my supports cut too so making it up as we go and for this we're just going to use the old delta uh, miter saw here um, we're going to set it on 45 degrees um, and then we're going to make a cut through um, both of these boards really fast so let's get that done And kind of a good tip, our miter saw is not large enough, as you can see, to cut through the full 4x4. You don't have to run out and buy a new tool every time something doesn't work exactly right. As you can see, I just flipped it over to the other side, um, turned the saw, and I've got a really nice clean cut there. So kind of make work what you can in situations like that. You know, you it's great to have the best new coolest toy, uh, you know, to play with, but um, sometimes you can't. So you just got to kind of figure out how to do it. You can still make a nice clean cut if you just take your time. In this case, you just turn the 45 the other direction, flip the board around and cut through it the other way. So gotta make it work. I think I may have figured out a solution uh, use these little brackets for that I got. So um, when I put this 45 on here, I've got kind of a gap. And I think I might use that just for some extra support on the bottom, as well as uh, face nailing it through the front but I think this is gonna work out pretty well to give me some extra support on this one side. All right, so we're gonna do this from upside down. I'm gonna hold these up so we can mark them. Kinda of wanna mark where these, these lines are gonna go. There's one. Now we'll set that bracket in there. and we'll see if we can make some pre-drilled holes. Let's go for a screw hunt. And we've got this little thing here. I'm sure you guys have something similar in your shop. And I've got kind of little mixed bags, of different types of screws and fasteners. A couple of these are different ones. And these are actually the ones I was thinking of here. These little star heads, kind of self-driving. If I can get a few of these guys, I think these might actually work pretty well for what we're trying to do to attach um, those brackets and they're not too long. I think there's about a, about an inch and a quarter screw there. All right. That one bit was a spaz bit. This is a craftsman set I've had for a long time. So I'm going to look through here and see if I can find a star head that will actually fit. And the thing I like about this is they've got all the sizes kind of laid out. So if you take this screw, press it down and then you find one that works. There you go. Now you're good to go. 
Get our pre-drills done. And when you're pre-drilling on an angle, if you're unsure which way to put the screws in, then in my case, I'm using a bracket. So if I put the bracket back on there, then I can get an idea of the angle that the screws are gonna to need to go in for when I'm doing my pre-drilling. So kind of a quick tip there. Let's put that bracket on there now and get that ready to go. Now remember, remember we've got the star head And I'm using the impact driver here just in case I run into resistance. It's a little bit easier to deal with. That should be good to go and let's kind of size it up now on the back of that other 4x4 actually looks pretty good we're gonna have a little bit of sway in it um, but remember we're gonna attach this this one through here as well so this will be just to kind of give it some baseline support for us and that'll hold it in place And I'm pretty happy with that. This is gonna give it a lot of good support on the bottom side as we uh, attach it through the face. Now you can see when I let the weight of this thing hang over the side of the sawhorse, it actually separates pretty far. So while it's separated, I'm gonna put some wood glue down inside of the gap, and then I'm gonna pull the board forward and set the weight down on it so that it's actually pinching this together as I screw it together. Let me show you what I mean. We're gonna go with the uh, Gorilla wood glue, indoor, outdoor use, nothing fancy. When I set this thing down on the ground and I let the base support it, it pinched together really tight. So now I'll pre-drill here and put a couple of screws through to hold the top together really tight. And this go around, we're gonna use a three inch screw or the three and a half inch screws that I showed you guys earlier. Those are also star tips. So we've changed that out on the impact driver. Again, the impact driver is to give it a little bit more force when I'm going through something this deep. And then we've switched out to a slightly bigger drill bit to pre-drill the holes. ladybug friend coming to see us from one of our other videos we put 1500 of these out in the yard to help with the garden it's pretty cool go check it out got these laid out basically like I have in the drawing where one side is gonna kind of be up on the hill and then I'm trying to figure out the size for the slats and this thing right now is actually right at about 24 inches wide a little bit shy but for a good example and this was just an extra cut that we had at I think like 27 inches so I think I'm gonna go with 24 um, kind of show my feet together at the bottom. I think that's going to be wide enough. I didn't want to make this thing too big and too hard to carry. So I think I'm going to go with 24 inches wide. So the next thing will be, we're going to cut these with about an inch overhang on either side. So I'll cut these at say 26 each. And we've got a bunch of this board to cut. So let's get started on that.
All right, we got those cuts made and I just kind of rough laid these out. Overall, I'm pretty happy so far. Just wanted to build a simple little platform, one side the next. Um, I've tried lifting this thing up. It's gonna be too heavy to carry it around to the front. So what I'm gonna have to do is carry the two main supports over and then we'll have to walk all these up there as well and then assemble it in place because it's just gonna be too heavy to lift up and carry that whole thing up there. But like I said, pretty happy. I think it's gonna work out well. Um, it'll give us a chance to kind of size it up and, and see how it's looking once it's in place. All right, I've got this thing rough set and it looks like it's working out pretty well. I'm definitely gonna have to get some rebar to stake in the feet. But as of right now, I think this is gonna be okay for support. Uh, I'm gonna work on getting it leveled up so that I can put the slats going up and over the top now. All right, I got the first board on there just to hold it for support and I've got it sized in at 24 inches. I'm gonna need to drive these base feet into the ground a little bit further as well as having some rebar on there too. All right, I've got one board secured at the front of it and one board secured in the back to help keep it rigid and we're trying to get it straightened up. I think I'm gonna end up doing some steps on this end, just kind of step up, but I've gotta have that clearance to get over this water so you can see the culverts go both ways. I'm helping my dad named David. My name is David? Yeah. Well, of course it is. What's your name? Indy. Indy? And well, you're cute. And my, today on this video, we're gonna do, we're gonna be making a bridge. Making a bridge? Mm -hmm. What are we making a bridge for? So we can go to the mailbox and not get muddy. So we're pre-drilling all the holes. Yep. So that we can get all these in place. Yep. Was the bridge sturdy? Hey, you stay down here, okay? Don't go up by the road. No, 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 stay on this side. That smells stinky. Yeah. You might run out of screws, dude. So I'm gonna do one screw in each. In case we run out. That way at least everything will have one. And we'll go get some more screws from the back. So I'm gonna do one screw in each. case we run out. That way at least everything will have one. And we'll go get some more screws from the back. Do what? Oh, yeah, you got them. I forgot. I'll use the ones you got. If, if I run out, I'll get some more at that one, okay? Okay. put two in this guy. All right, we got the boards all screwed on and I'm gonna work on building some steps here for the front of this thing because it's up too high to walk up the ramp that way. All right, so we're gonna go around to the back and get some stuff to help make them steps. My dad's the only one who can drive this work truck. The work truck? Yeah. Well, you get to ride in the front when we're driving over to the back of the house, right? But yeah. only then, or you're in your car seat, right? Yeah. That's right, safety first. Mom, um, Dad? Yeah. Can I tell you a secret? You can tell us all a secret. What's the secret? Um, you, you know how to work. <laughs> okay? I don't know what you said. I couldn't hear you. Say it louder. We show them all around in your work truck. Show them around the work truck? Yeah. Well, we got trash down there from today. <laughs> we got my signed demolition ranch hat. I like to look at that. Got my mount. We got my gloves. We got pictures of the kids up in here. On both sides of the front, we got 82,000 miles. We got our Sirius radio. 
Uh, we got some ammo down there. That's good. Thing to break out the window. More stuff down here. There's my laser. There's me, of course. How you doing? There's the back seat with the kid seats. There's Indy. So not too much to see. So we have these left over from when we were cutting those four by fours and it should fit perfectly up against the angle that we already have. Yeah. And with one of the treads, I think it's going to work to hold a stair step just on that thing. So we're going to cut two more of these. Ain't that right? Yeah. All right. You sure you can grab it? Oh my goodness. You are so strong. You are the strongest I've ever seen. All right. We got to take it in the shop. All right. We are ready for it on the miter saw. So let's cut a couple of these supports here. Start with it this way. Line her up. All right, so we gotta tell them what we're gonna do. We're gonna put those little triangles as supports for the steps. So we're gonna measure out where the supports go first. So we measure down six inches here for that, that second step. So we go ahead and mark it on both sides. That way we know both of those is gonna be there. So what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to, to screw through here, here and here. And then I'm also gonna do one up on top. So for each of these boards, each of these guys, same idea. One on the top and two through the face. Now what we're gonna do is Tudor puts a little bit of wood glue on the back of this guy that'll help us hold it in place. So there's that. All right, give me a screw. Get straight in, straight in. Again, we've got that Gorilla wood glue. Okay. I need a screw gun. And we got. All right. We just test fitted that first step and it actually fits really nice. So we're gonna we're gonna come down a little bit and put the other blocks in for the next step. And we're gonna get the treads glued on. Ooh. And we've only got four screws left, so we're gonna do one in each of these. Memphis is going to test it out for us. Don't go all the way across. Just tell me how it feels. Does it feel sturdy? I guess that works. All right, so that wraps up this video. We got that thing done in one day. Actually, total build time on that was about four hours. And today's actually Christmas Eve day, so day before Christmas. So if you're watching this, I uh, hope you are having an awesome Christmas Eve day and I hope you have a great Christmas. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna have another post up before New Year's, so probably not, so Happy New Year as well. And appreciate the support for the channel. If you really like this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, check us out, it really helps us to grow this thing. And um, any ideas that you may have for future projects, put those in the comments for us. 
and we'll see you in the next project. Thanks. Bye.